Day 474 off the grid, and we're at the Dutch market at the moment inside the windmill. There's a market going on down there where we're starting to come in a bit. This is the first floor of the windmill. This is the hatch where the hoist can move the bags of flour and the grain up and down. So you see it goes right through to the bottom. Yeah, these are the kind of bags. But we'll go up the stairs eh, and see what else is up there. Very steep stairs. It's a little bit like being in a lighthouse, isn't it? Oh, someone's going up quickly. Here we go. Oh, this is where it all happens. Well, not, this is where the bagging happens, see? It comes down from the floor above. This is what you were keen on. Okay, this is what Vikey was keen on, so let's do it, eh? This is the deck. This is the deck. Look, they've installed these lovely LED floodlights here to light the place up at night. A bit like being on a lighthouse, like a rather big lighthouse. Um, this, this is the wheel for winding this chain to actually move the windmill around. This windmill doesn't track the wind by itself, you've got to manually put it into the wind. And that's what that mechanism's for. Yeah. One useful thing if you're running a windmill is to know which way the wind's coming from. So there's a weather vane, mod technology, and there's obviously a rain sensor there. And here, here's the blade itself. Oh, oh no. What? Bell and my camera. Oh well. Oh well, can't win them all. Okay, anyway. Oh, you can ask me for another one if you like. When I give her the gold coin, I've got a gold coin to come up here. The Dutch don't miss a trick. Really? Right. So, oh, there's out to. This out here used to once be a wharf, and the sea used to come right up here. But when they re rerouted the river, it all became sort of like wetlands and stuff. But yeah, there used, there used to be a port here, wharves. And there we go. Cool, way. Eh? Right, so I'll go back in, and there is one more level. We'll see if we can get up to that. Right. Okay. Jump. There's a bike going up the ladder. This is the floor where all the magic happens. This is where the millstones are inside here. Awesome. There's the hoist that's also powered by the wind. And this is a bit south. It needs to go down. Yep. And it's still totally active. Right up there's some of the gears. It's all wooden gearing. This is as far as we can go. So I need the staff allowed up there because you got a lot of moving machinery up there, especially when that was in operation. A lot of torque can be exerted on these shafts. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Big Oh yeah, it's a little bit bigger than our wee windmill at home. But our one produces electricity. Oh yes, does it? Um, really, that's quite cool. Um, it's actually got a ball governor up there. Yeah, yeah. Now, does that does that just work with um, centripetal force, or does it actually yeah. act to operate a brake? Is this no, this is centripetal force? And if you go outside on the way out and you look in the middle of the uh, veins, I think if you look, you'll see some levers there. Oh, it'll actually move yeah. move the veins to yeah. turn them out of the window a little bit to slow it down. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
Yeah. I believe that the case. Right? Yeah, it looks like it's got something coming yeah. off it anyway, eh? Yeah. yeah. I don't work in it or anything, but I, I watched it being built. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we, I had the sawmill at the time, but we, we cut a lot of these. Oh! These and all that, and all that. And the big shaft that runs down with all the decking and the... A lot of timber went into this. So would that, that shaft just been cut from one tree, like just yeah. the centre of the tree? Yeah. yeah. So, yep. The big one that runs down from the top. To the oh, bottom, yeah, yep. That's, that's just like a big prune butt. We just squared it up. Oh, yeah. You know. Yep. Probably, well, that's, what, that's probably out of the centre of a tree, too, isn't it? Because that's 500. I think that's 500 by 500. Wow. But you wouldn't get that out of the edge of a tree. No, no. But, but it would need to be really strong though to handle the force yeah, on it, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah. The twisting force, because I mean, yeah. it's not like you're just making a power pole or something no, like that, is it? No. It's actually got to handle that, that twisting. Yeah, it was a bit of a gamble just put, using a pine, a bit of pine. Yep. But um, it's held out all right. It would take a lot to break it. The only way yep. you would break that centre shaft, a piece that, like that big, that, that's only 300, that's only, only 250 that piece. Yep. There'd have to be, an, uh, there'd have to be something that actually jammed and the wind would, you know, that would make it snap in half. I guess. Yeah, well, it's jammed while the wind's blowing hard out on the blades, yeah. It's wicked. This is this is um I think this is the second time we've been right up here. Yeah. yeah. Oh it's good. You never get sick of it, right? you? No, no. The guy that built it, he was clever, you know, because he'd never done anything like this before in his life and he he worked out all the angles to put inside there and, and the angle into there and the angle into that one and... Wow. So it was based off a Dutch design, yeah, but he right, yeah. he didn't just get the, the no, no, they didn't no. just get the plans from um from, plans Holland from Holland and oh they did yeah, and they built it. but they had to figure out all the internals and stuff though. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Well, I mean, it wasn't. I mean, it's the first time he ever built one. I mean, he, I mean, I guess when you're in Holland, you, you build it under with an old guy that's built hundreds. Yeah, that, that's right. Yeah. It slowed down out there, is it? It's a bit cold, right? Yeah, we've um we've been promoting the um the Dutch Day out on Radio Foxen for the last couple of days, eh? So yeah, yeah, yeah. We had had um radio. No, well, it used to be. Okay. It used to be, but now it's um with Mavtech. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, the Littles bequeathed it to Mavtech um after Ian had passed, and and we sort of got it. Got it going again. What channel are you? What number are you? Uh, 105.4 FM. Okay. Sometimes they tune it in down here in the windmill when um, when their little uh, Bluetooth player runs flat. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we... And I've got a show at... Um, I've got a show at 2 o'clock, so I better make some tracks, but... I'm glad we could we could pop up here today and check it out. Yeah, and I got to take some stroopies home for Baffy because that's she she asked me to get some. So, yeah, awesome. Well, cheers for the info, eh? That's cool. That's actually really. Oh, Zan. Oh, it's good to meet. Yeah, it's good to meet someone that actually worked on it. That's really yeah, real cool. Carry on, a eh, Vikey, and I think we can I think we can stop filming now.